Hi guys, welcome to this video. Okay, so you bought Paul Towers and you're wondering how you actually can replace the example character that we included inside of the gameplay template with your own character. All right, in this video, I'm going to take you through the steps that you need to undertake in order to make this happen. So the first thing that we're going to do is click here on the content drawer. And since I do not have any other characters inside of this project here, the first thing I'm going to do is add the third person example template of Unreal Engine to this project so that we have the mannequin. And then I'm going to show you how you can replace this fall tower example character with the mannequin. If you understand that process, then you're able to add any type of character that you perhaps download from the marketplace to make this game unique and make it your own. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is select the content panel here. I'm going to click on add i'm going to add feature or content pack and what i'm going to add is the third person template let's add this to the project as you see we now have inside of our content folder our original fault tower folder and then we have all of the stuff from the third person example template and the only thing that's necessary basically is inside of characters here I am going to have the skeletal mesh that we are looking for. And we also have the animations for this mesh. So at this point, once you have a character in here that has a mesh and animations, what do you do next? Let's take a look at that. We are going to click on the fault tower folder, and then we're going to go over to blueprints, core, gameplay, player. And inside here, you find the blueprint character. So this is the character class. Let's open that one up. Here we go. So if we take a look inside of the viewport over here, we see the example character that we give you with this template. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to select the mesh over here. And then here on the right, you can switch out this skeletal mesh with the mesh of your own. So what we're going to do is that we're going to take the SKM many simple, which is the new UE5 character. Then at this point, what you have to do is make sure that the capsule component actually fits the character size. So if we select the capsule component, then over here, I'm going to reset it. This capsule now already fits better to this character over here, but the mesh still needs to go down a bit. So if we select the mesh and we can actually align it here to the bottom, let's turn this grid snapping off. Uh, you can click on perspective. And just make sure that the feet of the character properly touch the bottom. And if we go back into perspective mode, we see that our character now neatly fits our capsule component. Then the next thing to do is that over here, we see the collision volume. This volume is the volume that actually interacts with all of the platforms that disappear once you jump on them. So what we need to do now is that this collision volume here, we need to drag it down something like this so that when the character's feet basically hit the platforms, they can still disappear. Okay, once those two steps are done, then we go and select the player name because in this template, we show the player name above the player's head. Make sure this is properly above your character's head so it doesn't interfere with the mesh here. And at that point, select your skeletal mesh and assign the animation blueprints to it. So over here under anim class, we are going to find the ABP many, which is the animation blueprint for many. That's all. Now we actually have properly replaced him. We can then go back to the event graph because as we see over here, the default example character, what we do is on event begin play, we basically generate an ID of appearance, which we set in a rep notify. And this appearance at that point basically uh, colors your character either white or green or red. And since we are now using many, which we do not have any of those materials set up for that, we can change his color, we can actually go ahead and remove all of this code. So this code over here, this SR set appearance is no longer necessary. And then this function here is not necessary either. So you can then go ahead and set this code here to the left. And then under the variables here, the appearance variable can be removed. Those dynamic shirt variables can be removed. And then over here under functions, your unwrap appearance ID can be removed and your create dynamic material function and set appearance function can all be removed. If you do want to have your own character also change colors, like let's say you want to have many be blue and yellow and green automatically, then please study the code that we included inside of the example character of how we made that guy basically change his shirt and sneaker color to green or yellow. All right, at this point, we can actually go ahead and test out our own custom character for this game. So I'm going to click on these three dots and set it to new editor pie window. Okay, here we go, guys. Ready? As you see, we are now many and we are able to properly walk around. All of the platforms still respond to us the way that we expected them to. You can see that the animations of many automatically work because we have installed many's animation blueprint. And here we go. We can now actually play the game with any type of character. Now that we understand how to replace the example character with many. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.
Bye bye Match over.